Hi, I'm Lee Tushler, Executive Editor of Design World and EE World. And I'm Kelsey Ferrante, Associate Editor. Today we've got a digital I.O. system for Raspberry Pi made by Opto22, an industrial control supplier in Temecula, California. The interesting thing about it is that for very little money, it lets you use a Raspberry Pi GPIO to handle solid state switching of real world electrical loads like industrial motors and pumps and to send circuits and status through industrial grade sensors. Right, and this system isn't a toy. You can use it to switch and sense a wide range of electrical circuits and loads from 2.5 volt DC to 280 volts AC. You can program it to do real I.O. tasks using Pi supported programming languages like Python, C, and others. Or you can use a free program called Node-RED to read and write I.O. with Pi build instructions. There's a lot of stuff on the table here. What exactly is in the digital I.O. system? The system itself includes a carrier board for the Raspberry Pi, an 8-position I.O. mounting rack, and four I.O. modules, one DC in, one AC out, one AC in, and one DC out. Another point to note is that the I.O. modules in the system aren't some watered-down version of real modules. They're the same kind you'd use in any industrial control setup. They're Opto22 G4 input-output modules. The mounting rack will accept four more G4 modules, and the kit includes mounting hardware and a ribbon cable for connecting in the Raspberry Pi. Now, to be clear, the Opto22 system doesn't include a Raspberry Pi, though Pis are easy to get, but for this demonstration, Opto22 graciously provided one. The starter kit is compatible with any model of Raspberry Pi that contains the 40-pin GPIO header connector. The Raspberry Pi we have here is a Pi 3, which includes Wi-Fi, but you don't need Wi-Fi to run the Opto22 kit. We've got a lot of other items on the table here. What are they here for? We've connected a monitor, keyboard, and mouse to the Raspberry Pi running the digital I.O. system so we could demonstrate a free program called Node-RED. This program is used for wiring together hardware devices, APIs, and online services, and it comes on certain versions of the Raspberry Pi operating system. There's a blog post on the Opto22 website that will guide you through how to build a Node-RED application for querying and controlling the I.O. system. Basically, you can import a Node-RED flow to interact with the I.O. modules on the rack. If you have a starter kit and follow the instructions in the blog post, you can turn the modules on and off from the Node-RED software. And with that, we're out of time. You can get more information about Opto22's digital I.O. for Raspberry Pi starter kit at info opto22.com slash raspberry dash pi dash io. The Opto22 blog post on configuring Raspberry Pi with Node-RED using the starter kit can be found at the link provided in the description of this video. Thanks for watching.